Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? This is Boys Cruise for today. So today we'll be actually looking at the Star Wars Lego Set 501st Legion Clone Trooper Pack. Uh, this is probably one of the most um, popular Star Wars sets that has been released in the last few years. And I believe this is probably one of the best selling ones they, they have released. Uh, this is an extremely popular set that came out. Uh, it came out a little while ago, actually. It's been on shelves for a very long time. I know when it first came out, you could not find it anywhere. And uh, this set is absolutely amazing. I've had this set for a very long time. This is actually my second one that I've actually purchased. Um, I never tend to buy sets more than once. Uh, because I, I don't ever see the reason why to have multiple figures of the same thing. Uh, as well as... Um, same builds it's just not my thing i like to have more sets of that are different i like to spend my money in different ways but this set is just so good that i had to buy it a second time um the reason why this set is so is it's probably so great is because of the figures uh no one's gonna sit here in line and be like hey man i bought the set for the builds themselves no most likely you bought them for the figures maybe one or two of the sets were good for the actual build but the rest was probably for the figures. So yeah. So this is set number 75280. It has 285 pieces and it is for seven plus. Uh, this is the instruction book right here. It's pretty standard. It's pretty all oh, one of the nice ones as well. It is always good. And of course, you can actually follow it online. And yeah, it's just pretty cool. And you can actually see some of the, the, the sets that were around this time period of this set came out. A little afterwards. So like this set is one a really good one. Um, a, a lot of these sets are actually pretty old compared to, to, to when this set actually came out. Like this is an, a pretty older set. Uh, as well as like uh, this one compared to relative to when this set came out. So it was a Jenna Grievous one. Uh, but there are some newer sets that you guys can see towards the end of that. But it is a very good set. Um, the instruction book was great. No complaints about that. Uh, there is a good amount of stickers. And this is the sticker sheet itself. So for a set this size, this is does seem to be a lot of stickers. Um, but um, like it is a good amount of stickers. But I do have to say that they're not exactly mandatory to be put on. At least most of them are definitely just added detail. And you can definitely keep these off if you'd like. Uh, but we'll look at the minifigures last and then we'll, we'll look at the actual set itself first, which is, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the figures later and why this set is so great. And we'll actually start with the walker. So, uh, this is based on the, I don't remember what the hell is based on. Um, all the walker ones are, are names are, are funk funky. So this isn't the first time Lego has done these. Um, there was done one. A very long time ago, uh, I believe for Clone Wars, it's around the relative size to this one. And it is one of the only sets back in the day to actually have a 501st Trooper. I actually remember seeing it in person as a kid because one of my best friends actually had the set. Um, and it's pretty re reminiscent of that. It's, uh, But yeah, it's one of these two-legged walkers that are kind of the medium scale ones, um, I guess, in universe. They're not the, the short ones, but they're not the massive big ones. Um, but this is pretty big compared to, I guess, in uh, minifigure scale. Because take a, uh, this is a half broken um, TIE Fighter, uh, I, which I think is really solid for minifigure scale. I think this is almost perfect minifigure scale. I think it's slightly smaller than minifigure scale, but I think this is a perfect scale to, to kind of size it up. So they are pretty big. They're not small or anything um and uh yeah well you can kind of see the feet here this is the bottom of the feet so they're pretty done pretty well they are pretty uh big so you can actually uh, move this guy around it does have a good amount of articulation uh so you can actually move this uh, this little guy around so you can kind of give them uh, you can, i know you can give them some actual poses i'm just trying to see what they are Oh, or maybe what the hell so this is the technically the standard one this i can technically move them up a little bit more move these down 
Uh, you can give him some good places, but no, I just can't seem to actually get them. There you go. It's more like a walking post. Now, I'm, now, now I can't seem to get... There you go. I feel like that's the same one. I don't know. <laughs> there, there are some decent walking poses. I, I just can't seem to get them. They're, they're not the worst, but they're definitely not the best. So you do have articulation here. At its, uh, I guess it's ankles. Um, over here, which would be his knees. And then this would be up here. You got some articulation with some ratcheted joints. So they hold pretty well. It is just top heavy, which is, you know, the one bad thing. Um, so there's that. Uh, so, but yeah, the legs are pretty skinny, which I mean, I can kind of understand, but they look pretty solid. And there is one sticker right there. Those arc stickers. There's one on each side. But they look pretty solid for, for the actual size of the thing, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you look at the front here, you do actually have a stud shooter. Uh, you can just remove the entire thing out if you don't like it. Or just remove the right piece and it does actually fire. It actually came back at me, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's on a ball joint. So you can kind of basically move it wherever you want. Um... Over here, you got some nice detailing. Uh, over here, you have some clips to actually put some stuff. And they actually do give you some right here. Um, overall, pretty solid on the build and other areas. Everything else is just seemed to be built up pretty well. Like, these are the, the actual feet. Uh, you got kind of like little nail areas, which are also very good. Um, I would be careful right here because these seem to separate. That seems to be a thing whenever they use these cylinder pieces. Um, even if you, even if they do end up putting a, 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 um, uh, actual pin through it, but it is what it is. Uh, over here, over here where the drivers, you do actually get a, a printed piece, pretty common one, uh, nice little, uh, areas for them to hold. And then like antennas here at the back, which you can technically move around. And you of course can put a figure here. Um, and it does fit well. I do think that they technically are oversized slightly uh compared to what they are in universe i think they are slightly big in my opinion but they look really good overall but yeah it was a good build um i don't know if these are the most massable thing ever though um which is why the reason and i i, I just haven't been the biggest fan of this personal build which is probably the reason why i've never ended up picking this one up more than once um but yeah, I, I think they look good. And this is the front, of course. They're, this is a sticker. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. And these are other two stickers. This is the majority of the stickers. Um, these are, used, of course, you can actually move these around. And then you can move this up and down. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, I know a lot of people really love these. I know with this set, people have found some really, really cool. Uh, is, they've bought in like four or five of these. And with these pieces, they're able to make like in like walkers and stuff. And it's super cool, by the way. Uh, there is some really cool partage piece that you can get out of these sets, um, which I have seen. So those are awesome. I just, I personally haven't been the biggest fan of, of this personal thing. Um, personally, again, just personally. Um, I think having one or two is good, but I don't think I'd ever get more than... I don't think I'd ever get another one just for the these. If so, I'd probably just end up buying the figures themselves if I want more figures. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people consider this one of the best, uh, basically battle packs that the uh, Lego has released because they're really, really good. They're really massable, and I do have to agree. Um, I just wish I would had more of a personal like for the Walker thingy here. Um, you also do get a speeder. Uh, speeders for Lego for Star Wars tend to be super oversized. And this one falls under that category once again. Uh, they're completely way too big, but at least it looks good. Uh, so it, it does look good and it is completely oversized, but you know, it, it looks good at least. This is the front, so you can clearly see that it does actually look good. You know, there is some good shaping there. It looks kind of, you know, you know, sharp. I do get two stud shooters there on the side. You can remove them if you want. I think that those actually look good there. If you want, you can just remove the actual shooters. And you have something that's pretty simple. I think that looks great, actually. Over here, in the back here, you have these, which are like little engines. I love how they look. Uh, they look really good from the side here. 
uh, super great. And then they actually do end up using blaster pieces with lightsaber hilts uh, to get a kind of a shooting thing as well. Those look really good once again. Nothing bad over there. You do get a sticker. This piece gets one sticker, two stickers, and a third sticker. I think that's completely unnecessary. If you don't want to add those, don't. It's super fine. The back here, this is the bottom. But again, you're not going to be seeing the bottom too much. And then this is a sticker. I'm sorry if I applied it like a jackass. Uh, and the seat looks great. Uh, you can put a figure in the seat. Um apparently but I, I i have this piece backwards for some reason nice and i broke something off of the entire build because that's how i am there you go looks pretty good and then i don't know if he can actually hold it or not this is an interesting part let me see if he can actually hold i think he has a hard time actually holding both of them Yeah, so I, I believe technically you would have to flip one of them around, which is not what the instructions say. Um, but it looks like the instructions themselves has it that he can hold it. Oh, uh, I guess he can. All right, so you can hold both of them, actually. You just have to make sure everything's super tight together and it fits a little weird. But he can hold both of them uh, and he fits there. So it looks really good. Again, the biggest problem with speeders is they tend to be a slightly oversized, just like a lot of things when you, they try to make them uh, minifigure scale. But overall, it looks absolutely great. And I think, once again, I think these are great to have one, maybe two. But having going towards the, the four or five range, I think it's a little unmassable. Uh, but, I, you know, it is what it is. All right. Now, the, the part that made this set so great and the reason why this set is so loved is because of the figures and um you get two droids right here and droids are always massable uh no one can ever say otherwise they have un been unchanged since they were released i think their design is perfect and if you say otherwise you're weird uh, i think they're so simple and just well done um you just get two of them once again i think that's great love to get these droids give me more of them give me a battle pack with just droids throw me like 10 droids because they're cheaper than regular figures and then give me some builds like this make a droid battle pack i guarantee you it would sell i guarantee you droids are awesome i love these droids i personally have like 50 of them because i'm ridiculous like that i've been collecting droids for an insane amount of time because i love them so much i just think they're awesome looking uh, so I, I'm a huge fan of army building and, and I love droids. And I, one of my favorite part about the droids is that they've never changed their design. So they've always been cheap. Uh, they've always been masterable because they've never, ever changed the design. Unlike clones or um, stormtroopers, they've changed designs over the years, which means that if you want to make an army, you have to make them all around the same time period. And a lot of times... People, if a new a new one comes out, then are you going with the new ones or you have to buy the old ones? Then they end up being expensive. It's a whole thing. So I'm glad these guys never change. So these are always great to get. Um, and they actually get someone to fight. I mean, I don't think they'll last very long, but, you know, it is what it is. And you do get three Clone Trooper for 500 and first. So these are absolutely great. 500 first is the most well-known Legion. Of them, they are absolutely great. Their color scheme is blue and white, so that's probably one of the reasons. You know, they were led by Anakin. Uh, big characters like uh, Rex are super, super well known. These are really well done. Um, I absolutely great looking, and just it's always great to just get these guys, and to get three of them in a single pack is absolutely insane. Um, their heads are no longer uh angry clone heads which is an interesting thing um i know a lot of people have been controversial about that and i think i understand oh wait are they angry clones they're just the the tan angry clones yeah so they are angry clones but they're just actual tan color uh and they're not actually like the super pale jesus focus yeah so they are those once again just overall just really good um but yeah 
super cool to get three of them uh technically i think i have six of them now at this point which is a really good amount i think i think for squad i don't want an army i want squads of figures and then you do actually get one jet trooper uh so it's very similar uh the legs are exactly the same the torso is technically different um i believe the only part that's different is the top area right here so the top area of his torso is different his helmet is different it's the same shape um it's just the printing is slightly different um for some areas so pretty cool and he does actually get the jet pack there and i believe he had, does have the exact same head so super cool yeah but i think that's the reason why this set was so successful um getting a bunch of these guys is super massive and that's what people love um you know they love to make armies of clone troopers it's everybody's dream uh it is currently my dream uh but i think i i'm good i'm doing good with the figures currently um but yeah let me know what you guys think of this set do you guys think it is actually the best um what's it called battle pack i'm not sure a lot of people go directly to yes i say it's questionable i think figure wise probably if not the best it's definitely up there in the top five best but i'm not sure the builds itself are the best and i don't think these are the most massable because of their price range um you do get four figures um one of them being different and two droids but they're not standard battle packs, which is have three to four figures and then just a like small build. And you're really getting those just for the figures. A lot of times those are been iffy and they've absolutely increased in price to ridiculous amounts. Mostly because the figures nowadays cost four to five dollars out of boxes. And that's what they're basically priced at, even though they resell for a lot less currently. Um... I don't know man it's interesting to say it's interesting thought i'm not entirely sure but it is what it is uh let me know what you guys think is it the best you know uh the best battle pack i'm not sure i'm iffy about it i think it's definitely up there with top five man i do think i even think this is one of the best star wars sets period i don't know a lot of people even think that that's true i'm not sure i think there's better star wars sets but i think battle pack wise this is definitely one of the best let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the support and the recent content seriously you guys have been absolutely killing it here on the channel uh thank you guys for over 100 subscribers it means the absolute bro to me uh for all the support you guys have been absolutely giving me on this channel thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys